Hey everyone, Callum's Tech here. So in today's video, we are going to get into Junior Software Engineer Roadmap 2025. And for this particular part, we're going to get in depth and talk about networking. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Christopher Adams. I am a senior full stack software engineer living in the Denver, Colorado area. My goal and mission of this channel is to provide you with some useful information. And if you feel like you've gotten any, remember to like, subscribe, and share with anyone that you know is interested in software engineering. Okie dokie artichokey. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So there are many different forms of networking and I'm going to show you all and teach you all about the various ways in which you can do so. So if you're just getting into networking, one thing I highly recommend and I've recommended this for years now, and that is to join a community Slack or Discord group. Wherever you're located, uh, try and look at your region of the world, perhaps your city, uh, preferably a major city would be nice, or maybe your nearest major city, but um, look for the closest major city near you and look at meetups that are happening in your area. So go to Google, type in Google, software engineering Slack group near me or Discord Slack group near me. And it should recommend a Slack or Discord group in your region, in the closest major city near you. Um, so once you find something that works for you, go ahead and join it. Once you join this group, whether it's Slack or Discord, um, sometimes you'll find that one may be more popular than the other two. Some groups have two, have both, a Slack and a Discord, and sometimes the Discord will be more popping and a lot more action going on, and then the Slack will be not so much, or vice versa. Sometimes the Slack will be popping and the Discord won't be, uh, you know, will be pretty stagnant. So, so try both out, see what works for you. So these will have an introduction channel, and you can introduce yourself. Uh, you can you know, introduce your name and what technologies you're learning or um, what you're interested in doing. And then um, try and just form a community, check out the different channels, uh, see what people are posting. Over time, uh, you will post things and you'll engage with people and you can form acquaintances, you can form friendships, you can form uh, maybe friendships with people that are even hiring at their company. Um, so this is an excellent resource, um, a very valuable resource, and you don't even have to do it in person for this. You can do it over text. So some people prefer that, right? I have formed many, many friendships through Slack and Discord groups, and I have gotten several jobs um, through this resource as well. Okay, so we talked about Slack and Discord, but let's talk about another thing, which is pretty fun, especially if you're just getting into software engineering and coding, is attend hackathons. Try and find a hackathon that might be near you and attend it. Uh, try and form a group, whether it's before you go there or just go by yourself. And then um, you may form a group and you may form friendships with people there. Um, take it on as a challenge. Um, this is great. This is a great way to basically get put yourself out there and to start coding amongst others um, without even having a job. Um, so I strongly recommend this as well. But also a lot of time and oftentimes there are people that are trying to scout out talent that attend hackathons as well. So they're like, hey, wow, I, I like your project idea. You're doing a good job. Let me, uh, maybe you can apply to my company, things like that. So hackathons, I think is an excellent resource. Um, try and take advantage of it. Um, this will bring us on to the next point. I've personally attended hackathons back in the day. I, I attended a hackathon called Florida Polytechnic at the Florida Polytechnic University. It's a pretty cool campus. Um, did the hackathon there. It was a, I think at that time, a 24 hour hackathon. So you don't have to go too crazy with the 48 or 72 hour hackathon. But I did the 24 hour hackathon. I think I only slept for around one hour, the entire 24 hours. Uh, they catered Chick-fil-A uh, free of charge to us. At the time we got a t-shirt, um, had like a badge identifier that I still have in my closet somewhere. And then, um, it was, it was a really fun event, free event, and, um, and I formed friendships there. So I definitely strongly recommend and encourage it. Okay, this next part, this next part for networking has been by far the hugest for me. And that was right when I was first teaching myself how to code. I attended a meetup called Open Code. So for those that don't know, there's a site called meetup.com, and, and there's also equivalents to that, so maybe look at those as well. But I've personally used meetup.com and have gotten great success out of that. Similar, similar to the Slack and Discord suggestion, look for what is the closest software engineering related meetups near you uh, through this. And then you'll see days and times, you'll see people that have requested to attend the event and, um, and things of that nature. So I strongly recommend trying to attend an in-person meetup. Um, sometimes they may still be doing virtual meetups, so go ahead and attend those too. Those work just as well. 
But this is a most excellent resource. And I strongly recommend you take advantage of it. Uh, I have met several of my peers there prior to me working with them. Um, one of my good friends, Stephen, one of my good friends, Robert. Uh, I met my engineering manager, Ilya, there. Um, I have met um, others as well that I later went on to work with. Um, this guy named Vanille um, and good, good stuff, good stuff. So you form a lot of acquaintances, you form a lot of friendships, you form a lot of connections with potential hiring managers. Um, it's just an excellent resource, but here's a big tip. Don't just attend the meetup one time. If you find you're gravitating towards a meetup that is particularly interesting to you, like I attended one called Open Code in the past, and this is basically a place where people, developers of all skill levels came out and they coded amongst each other. They may show personal projects that they're working on or maybe something that they're working on as a freelance. Um, and it's just a great place to engage and have an excuse to code amongst each other. I later went on to actually run an open code meetup for four consecutive years, every single month, once a month without missing a single month. And uh, it was good times, good times. So what else? Okay, so they have other meetups, language specific, maybe something like, hey, let's t attend a JavaScript meetup. Uh, they also, a PHP Laravel meetup, but they also have um, meetups that are more broad, like open code, like I mentioned, or maybe just a broad software engineering related meetup. So, but here's the tip that I was going to say is make sure to be a regular at the ones that you gravitate towards. Try and attend once a month or once every other month. And you'll notice that there will also be other regulars. And over time, there will be people there that say, oh, I recognize you, I've seen you at the last meetup, or you know, I've seen you at the last two meetups. You'll form connections very quickly if you do this. So I strongly recommend it. So that was pretty much the gist of this video. I wanted to keep this one short and simple. I do have other videos that go more in depth in this topic. So be sure to check those out. Um, but I think that this gives a pretty good high overview on how you can get started and, and how to go about it. So between all of those, try and at least do one of them, uh, if not all of them. If you do all of them, then your success in obtaining your first junior software engineering job will definitely be increased by quite a bit. But even if you do one of these things out of the list, it is going, you'll see the benefit. I guarantee you'll see the benefit. So I hope you got something out of this video. Remember to like, subscribe, share with anyone that you know is interested in software engineering. Until next time, see you all later.